Welcome to the Advocate on First TV Africa. Great panelists with topical issues, no old bad. We tell it like it is. My name is Iniqui Victoria Amodu, and I am joined by Elijah Felix and Bola Yaya. Permit me to lead the way right after this short break. Ministry partners with NDPC to empower youth amid road safety concerns and celebratory act of youth-led change. The Federal Ministry of Youth has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with the Nigeria Data Protection Commission, NDPC, to train 5,000 Nigerian youth in data protection and privacy. Minister of State for Youth Development, Ayodele Olawande, highlighted that this partnership will not only provide technical skills, but also generate job opportunities and contribute to national development. Meanwhile, concerns about law enforcement in Lagos have resurfaced after several arrests, some attempted, were made for alleged traffic violations. Citizens have called for clearer road signs and better communication, pointing out that improper placement of traffic lights and signposts create confusion for road users. In more positive news, Nigerian youth celebrity Ashakain has built a borehole in Plateau State community that had previously only relied on three wells and put children to school. This act of goodwill has provided access to clean water and education, which has greatly, which which will greatly impact the community's health and education. Hmm. This is so, great, like... I, I mean, this is great. But, you know, before we go into Ashokai's, uh, you know, goodwill or change, good change act, I really want us to talk about the NDPC and the ministry's collaboration to train 5,000 Nigerian youth, you know, in data, data protection. protection. Okay, so um, data protection... Um, training 5,000 youths for data protection is not really the solution to these problems. Mm -hmm. Giving youth te uh, technical skills, yeah. you get, it's more like putting the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. Why not teach them on data science okay. first, you get, teach them on data science, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I th at least we know that that skill is employable, mm -hmm. you understand? Make them employable in um, the job market. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd like to know your thoughts. Um, anyway, like yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, I, I, I agree with you on one hand, but let me just... Let me just um, see how to and buttress on what you are okay. saying. It's a good will from the ministry to say, okay, let's train your youths mm. in data. But the, the issue I have is that, like, it's not just, if they are talking about employability skill, okay. we should expose youth beyond just giving them data information about protection. the importance of data, data protection, protection online and the race. I think everybody it does not should actually have... Everybody should just have a basic knowledge. Have, yeah. Yeah. But it does have not directly um, connotes um, skills development in the area. Mm. What, we are, what they will be talking about is skills of the future, mm. tech skills, yeah. data science, mm. data analysis, artificial intelligence, AI. These are, mm. the, these are skills where young persons can tap into. Mm. Yeah, learn to integrate, skills, this, yeah. integrate these skills to their existing profession, profession. those that have existing professions if you don't have an existing well, let's say you're a student mm -hmm. or undergraduate in university or just a young person you can actually learn these things learn and then skills. build up your skills up and then get exposed to the right kind of um, um, technical trainings and mm -hmm. then exams qualifying exams if they okay. need be yeah. and then look for job opportunities yes or true or I, I probably they are trying to teach them on um Better usage of oh, data privacy. Uh, data privacy. The, but the it does not necessarily translate into. Uh, well, let, yes, let, let's yes. first of all, let's first of all applaud them on one hand. Yes. At least that consciousness. That, okay, we have to do more for the youth. Yeah, but that's beyond really that, commendable. beyond that, they, if they really want to do this, they should do it thoroughly. Mm -hmm. If you are talking about five thousand young persons, mm -hmm. you want to train them. Let it be that you are training them on relevant tech skills. Precisely. So that would sustainable. Be able to, yes. uh, yeah, that would be sustainable. You, that would be sustainable. So, so um, I really want us to talk about the the impact of this training right on nigerian economy but before we actually go into that i want to suggest that you know there are actually multiple ways to go about this yes this training which is very commendable but i think that you know if we're going to talk about unemployment right what about job placement for people who already have these skills 
I don't know if, if you I understand point, me yeah. in Nigeria. Uh, uh, no, we have, okay. they can buttress no, with cyber security, something mm. like that. Okay, okay, now here's the thing if you, if you look at the uh, finance sector, or even internship, yeah, if you look at the finance sector, the emergence of a lot of fintechs, they, these things thrive on analytics. Mm, yeah, there yes. are opportunities there. Then you are talking about opportunity, other opportunities beyond just the provision of job opportunity within the country. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? these skills can be exported from yeah, the from, from the confines of your yeah, homes yeah. Yeah. yeah you can actually solve data dependent problem mm -hmm. abroad mm -hmm. and then in foreign currency they pay you yes, and you're working in nigeria so yeah. you can actually these, these are ways where youths can nigerian youths can yeah. gain from and, and this that's and that's why because data science uh, cuts uh, across sectors you can use it and, yes, and, and that's why your point is actually sector. valid on the fact that beyond data protection yeah. the skills that they what can are you use. can you so protect data that you don't understand the data science behind the data that's why they, they were putting the card before the horse. Yeah. You understand? Well, you need to understand good one. I, I, what you're trying to protect. They yeah. are I, I think the ministry is trying to promote data, the, the consciousness of the importance of protecting data because data and pri uh, your own data, your personal data and your privacy yeah. is important. It yeah. could be used so against well. you. True. So you need, it ought to be protected. It's a good awareness. But beyond that, I think what they need more is. Mm -hmm. For instance, now you can learn skill. you can learn traffic. I was saying it earlier that you can learn um how to drive, drive without learning, learning your traffic, 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 yeah. traffic light skill. Yeah. When you learn traffic light skill, it doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, do you learn how driving is a survival skill? Mm -hmm. That was most people see, yeah. which is true. Yeah. So if you if you are informed about your data privacy in the cyber world, cyberspace, beyond mm -hmm. that, can you navigate the cyberspace using mm -hmm. the new technology, AI's analytics? Yeah. And then the science behind it and incorporate it into your profession. Mm. So very quickly, right? What are your thoughts on the impact of this, you know, in Niger on the Nigerian economy? That's what I now, as Elias said, El, um, the issue of foreign exchange, mm -hmm. a foreign uh, inflow of um, foreign, foreign uh, no, yeah. So the, imagine a young person. Mm -hmm is given this job let's say you are working for one company in china in, yeah or in the u.s in and then you are earning in foreign currency For, yeah. the money is coming to nigeria Precisely. so many other things and you know when money there is enough people are mm -hmm. happy they're employed people will be willing to pay government tax do the right exactly. things money will go yeah, around we, it, it, it's actually going to go around it's going to go around okay so and yeah. then we also be a knowledge-based economy this is another one mm -hmm. because you know there are a lot of rob yeah there's this man um, i remember this creature i see s great treasure lies in the human personality mm -hmm. or that the greatest or the greatest wealth on in the in the earth lies in between the ears of the humans means mm -hmm. your brain so just imagine that we're talking about exporting oil how many young persons will have access to crude oil mm -hmm. literally, mm -hmm. none. literally mm -hmm. almost none mm -hmm. let's just accept those that are close to the, uh, Let's just at, say at the corridors of power. Not everyone. Not, not everyone. Vast majority In fact, the vast ninety-nine percent, or more than ninety-nine percent. Now, but access. what you can export or what you can gain access to that human raw material, human or natural resources is your intellect. Yeah. Now, if the youth can develop their skills in tandem with global standards mm -hmm. and we'll new technology, as we as can as be as able to as tap as into as global economy. That's why I believe and we are export humans, our skill we are and then develop evolving, our country. You understand? We are evolving. So, if everyone can key into that uh, mentality of continuous, mm -hmm. you get knowledge, learning, mm -hmm. and development, and all that. So, it's going to translate more into more employability mm -hmm. instead yeah, of just skill. being stagnant or static just in one place. Start thinking or waiting for someone to spoon feed you. Mm. All right, thank you very much. So, I, in recent times, we've actually seen the the old harassment, you know, Traffic. from yeah, Traffic. from fr from the police, from the uh, police force. And their major reason is that okay, the road users, you know, use one way or they, are, they, they go against or have gone against traffic the traffic rules. Do you get? But then, when you actually look deeper into this, you get to realize and understand that first of all, there is no proper communication, you know, as to these rules or traffic signs that they are trying to enforce. Um, you are passing a, a way that, and then you say it's one way. Please, where is the sign post? Okay, you know, let's even, let's just, let me get down to a point. Okay. Most of these people who learn how to drive, normally mm -hmm. you are learning how to drive, you are supposed, the norm, the norm is that you should learn rules, mm -hmm. traffic rules and everything about the ways, dual roads and how to navigate them. Yeah, precisely. But let me ask you a question. How many of these persons navigating or using the roads mm -hmm. learn that way? 
okay. is a question you should ask. Okay. You get what are the authorities you get governing these things? Mm -hmm. are, they, are they accountable enough? Are they doing their job? Okay. Sometimes some people just learn somewhere and, and obtain their driver's license mm -hmm. without knowing these rules. Okay. So that is where, like, we're starting from the grad, from, from the, the down level, for, uh, from the person learning. Mm -hmm. You before understand? We to before we go to the top. Okay. Okay, so um, Elijah, what's your take? You know, recently this Nollywood actress, yeah. uh, celebrity, yeah. Kate Henshaw, yeah. she actually narrated her own ordeal yeah. with the police while mm -hmm. she was driving. Mm -hmm. You know, they were actually fixing the way. So, yeah. you know, when they are fixing the road, especially this dual really, carriage road, yeah. precisely. they will block one of the lanes that is and being constructed, yes. and, yeah, and every the other, other vehicle one used will for boots. serve our boots yes. directions of the traffic. Mm. Now, when they finish it, you need to duly informed the public that yeah. oh, this rule is complicated and, uh, you won't see anything or maybe you put something that is not as vague and then they keep doing it as before then the police will just harass them come from now, nowhere now the issue is that i think the problem the if we watch uh, several times i've seen how these guys react i mean mm -hmm. not just the police mm -hmm. even the last month let me use last month for example yeah. last month themselves I've seen last some. I'm not saying in, I'm not saying entirely mm -hmm. the whole of last month. Some of them. Some last month official. We have of course last month is doing a very excellent job. We've seen what the, how they handle traffic. Mm -hmm. They do very well. But yeah. some of the officials, unfortunately, when you watch them at different junctions just, or bus stops along yeah. the road, they are actually waiting just for, for you, you to, to just commit an offense, offense to just and they will yeah. come in with their own zest and zeal, uh, uh, and you know just thing? to do that and punish you. Offenses that are not even properly communicated. That that's the major issue. Some like, of these things could have been avoided. Maybe they see you want to park somewhere, you're not mm -hmm. supposed to. Park. They can and actually they inform you, please don't park there. You. It's not waiting on you. Sometimes I just feel they do it intentionally. They do it. Uh, that's what I feel. So they they just want so that they can exploit to, to, people, uh, extort money from people so and the rest. So I actually want to orient, is it orient or in, um, orient now, you know, if you're watching this, if it is if you're a police force or if a um, member of the officer, force uh, yes or man. last man or whoever uh, and also for citizens as well so number one and for sorry for contents last month is legal state traffic management authority yeah uh, the, the traffic officials Precisely. so that's just for contents thank you for that okay so now th th there's a law that actually you know governs and uh, that, that binds this act right so first of all the whole uh, issue of harassment when you know just like you talked about the celebrity that had an encounter with this person we have a right to dignity of human person so i think that it's very essential that when these armed forces when these forces are coming out to in quotes enforce you know enforce whatever laws that they 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 you know are trying to enforce they should understand that you should do that respectfully every human or every nigerian citizen has their right to dignity of human person now the police force act actually you know not even recommend mandate that every policeman should carry out their task professionally and respectfully so it's not it's very unprofessional for you to come and just arrest someone you don't have a valid reason for arresting the person and arrest the person so it's very essential that we do that now for the signpost i think it's also very essential that you know we properly communicate this traffic signs whatever improvements you know that we have on our roads the the is it no not the constitution now um, one of the acts, right, also mandates that there is proper communication, a bold and visible signage of all of these traffic clearly signs. Stated, right? Yeah, clearly stated. So please, if you're not doing that, ensure you go back to your drawing book. But, and but another thing again, that. just to extend your conversation, mm -hmm. beyond those, can we automate the system? Like a thriving city like Lagos. Lagos mm -hmm. is, you know, Lagos is always used as a model state in Nigeria in and most some part of West Africa. Africa. Can we agree that most of these things can be automated? You don't have to have policemen Thank and traffic you. officers running I around. Do you know they can actually endanger their safe? Mm -hmm. Just yes. imagine a police officer trying to stop a vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then another vehicle could just hit, knock him yeah. down. Or, you know, there could be chaos accidents. Can this we automate even, the process and have capture cameras that can capture plate numbers? Mm -hmm. This is just beyond possible, law enforcement. Take for instance, apart from governance, even the people 
zebra crossing. You're trying, you, you don't, don't try it. Yeah. Like, you don't try it here. You don't understand these things. You, you can't, do. you can't even do it you here. You can't try it, brother. You cannot. They're because telling me I want like, to cross the road and, and I'm, I, I go and stand on the zebra you crossing. And you, and don't you don't hear that, people yeah. walking with me say, you You're don't, not you don't try it. Don't try it. Yeah, you'll be not, smart. Will not like, say because most people don't even understand what the zebra crossing is. Even some of the road users, you see a pedestrian standing there. Something should signal to you that What about traffic? Traffic lights. How many of them obey traffic uh, no, the, lights? The, the, the issue is that they can actually drive massive orientation. At this way, at the same time, we can always be where, where we are always mm. be. If we claim to be a driving city, Lagos is what what they call the cosmopolitan and what and uh, what's this word? I'm trying to remember. But it's a developing city. A city mm. that would be like a model city mm. to other parts of the um, country and and, states, and yeah. West Africa, even mm. the region. In terms of West Africa, now we need to always do better. So we, if you go to country, uh, countries like, uh, let's say, if you go to cities like London, go to cities like uh, Dubai, mm. go to cities like New York, you know, mention those cities. You don't see, see, yeah, of course, they have human factor. Mm -hmm. Police officers will be there to, at times, but control. But they're very, very also, yeah, yeah, they are the minimal human yeah, intervention. Yeah. They have the structure. Proper so can we grow beyond this level? Why we are trying to orientate the police to do mm -hmm. the right thing? You are the and we also orientate the people. We also try to well. encourage technology in, mm -hmm. in managing these True. things and then let us have a re thriving well developed city hmm. so we saw ashakind right ashakind uh, built a, a you know, hole. you know there's a, something yes i saw it too. Yeah. you know there's something they said about kind that kind is doing more for the people that yeah. i won't mention yeah so he has well, done sorry, like he, he, <laughs> like he that project i think he collaborated with another yes, celebrity yes. so i've forgotten i, I think with that organization i don't know it's a person an individual okay it's an you individual. mean ashakind with the other and yes another yes it's actually a state okay. so they did it and you see the job like yeah. saw the joy on their faces they had like two mm -hmm. or three you get yeah. uh, channels of water and it, it was just three wells it's three I wells mean, you can imagine day and time just three imagine just three for, for community. community to you get wow. so that came as a relief for them you yeah. understand mm -hmm. so i just i just see it as as people we have values mm -hmm. yes we do have values mm -hmm. we do have empathy and we see what the day-to-day -day person struggles so you cannot tell me that people in the government cannot see that. Mm, true. You are a person before you are a leader, right? Mm -hmm. You are a person first. Mm -hmm. Before you are a leader or before you attain any, any position. Uh, position of prominence. Mm -hmm. So I I must commend him. Like Surely. that's commendable. Well, yeah. Not just that, a lot of other things he has done. Yes. So we we name him the Mr. Beast mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Yes. So uh, yeah, it's commendable. Okay, well yeah. it's a good one what he has done, but I see back to differ. In the sense that well, after he do, does the Constructs the bow, what means mm -hmm. who, ma who will maintain it? Yeah, they put they place Wait, solar I'm, I'm trying to say, forget they all those ones. Let, 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 let me that. tell you what I'm trying to say. Okay. It's a good thing, don't get me wrong. It's mm -hmm. a good thing. The reason why I say forget all those ones is that we have seen this, this is more like a recurring decimal. We have seen a lot of well meaning a Nigerians recurring decimal don't for, good stuff for, for a Nigerians. Citizen, mm -hmm. An but ordinary person doing it. At the ordinary ending, thing. these things are not being maintained. So, who is supposed to do that? It still falls, the bulk falls, the lies at the the text of the government mm. do your job uh, yeah, you don't have to wait it's not the job of the citizens to provide yeah, basic it's infrastructure it's for all that they are the issue, not doing what we are saying because this, this is the government that wants to come and tax the citizens mm -hmm. they are always talking about raising funds tax and <laughs> the government should work for you entirely. but how about you discussion. putting those things Providing basic infrastructures and addressing Just the needs. Like That's what we call the needs. Basic, I think basic if you watch, if you listen to um, United Nations, how they solve like problems. The basic mm -hmm. needs for a they, that's what we call they, they do needs assessment. Mm -hmm. yes. They go to a particular community and, and they do needs assessment. Yes. What does these people? What mm -hmm. do they really want? Mm -hmm. Can we? And why is it? Why, why are they having this problem? Mm -hmm. They will keep asking why until they go from the effect to the cause, mm -hmm. and then they will solve the, the problem. Kudos to the Ashakan. He did well. But the yeah. question is, there are many other Nigerians that have done similar things be before him, mm -hmm. but the problem still persists. So that means it's all boils down to, to the, the government. government. Yeah. Do what you want to do. You See, don't have to allow have people to suffer wait. before other people come to help. Precisely. Or something and that you know could what, be done. When we, when, you know, Provide the basic infrastructure. Kind of post, what came to mind was you can just see the humanity in and in, in Nigeria or in citizens. So why can't we have this you, I'm governance? not a prophet of Zoom. I'm mm -hmm. not a prophet of Zoom. But let me tell you, go back there in 10 years. Most of those will not be properly managed. At least that's more like... Uh, 
you are looking at the temporary, the temporary relief. Brief. I know, but we are not. Forced, I'm not saying it's not going to be there forever. It's, yes, but that's why I'm saying that it's not. The, it's not the solution. The solution is a good thing. What he has done, we need. This we is want more Nigeria to help. But can the government step up, step up provide exactly. sustainable this development? This is for the government to step up. That's what up. we're saying. So provide sustainable yeah. development for your citizens. Don't rely on the good we alone of the citizens. Mm, very so true. That was, that all right so far we've discussed about you know the traffic issues we've discussed about the 5,000 nigerian youth training on data protection and also the goodwill of the nigerian celebrity asha um please do stay tuned after the break elijah would be next thank you